Billies and Legends, and I am Bilal Morris, live from the Royal Ashanti Palace in Punta Gorda, uh, speaking with a dynamic Belizean brother I had got the chance to meet. I only had acquaintance with him on Facebook, but now I'm finally here meeting Brother Mustafa Sankova, a Belizean brother that have served in the American military for many years and have invested coming home to Belize and have invested in this beautiful facility that I know sit. I was very, very, very honored to be his guest and was very impressed with what he has put up here. Brother Mustafa, welcome to Belize and Legends, my brother. Thank you, sir. It's an honor to be on. Yes, man. Um, tell us about how the Royal Ashanti Palace came about. It was a suggestion from a um, Nigerian doctor, a friend of mine, some years back. Um, initially, this was a um, one-flat building and um, he suggested that I should do something, um, you know, put on a second floor, which was my intention all along, but you know, uh, his suggestion provided that impetus for me. And um, you know, once that became feasible, I just went ahead and um, you know, the end product is what you see today. Yes. You um, have served, you lived in the United States for many years. You are Belizean from the diaspora from the Belizean diaspora. Bill, Mustafa, tell us what it means to you of, as, as, a, as a Belizean that lived in the Belizean diaspora for many years. What does that mean to you coming home to Belize? And what are some of the challenges that you have met being a Belizean that came home back to your homeland in this very <coughs> district where you were born and grown and invested? Talk about the challenges that you have met and also the, the, the positives and the negatives. Oh boy, where do we start? <laughs> you know, some of the challenges I think have to do with, um, oh boy. You know, trying to find people who are reliable, dependable, uh, truthful, um, folks who have that established um, work ethic. Um, therein lies some of the biggest challenges that I have faced. And so, um, I've, I've tried my best to navigate around those challenges because if you just allow, um, if you allow that to, you know, sort of um, hold you back, you will not get anything done. So you just have to, you know, uh, navigate your way around that and just um, keep moving forward best way you can. Did you find any uh, sort of resentment against you by your own people in terms of where you going with that, uh, that don't work and that kind of stuff as a Belizean coming in from the United States and investing. <coughs> what, was this, what, what was the sort of encounters that you met that was similar to in terms of a negative sort of response to what you were doing? Um, actually, I encountered none. That's good to hear. Yeah. That's good I mean, I was determined to do what I did and, um, you know, there's no kind of negativity that was going to, you know, get in my way. Um, I was going to be driving on anyway. Yes, yes. So you were, your people supported you very well. The people of Punta Gorda, a native son coming home and investing. You had uh, very much a great support from your people. There was no resentment in any way at all. Like some other Belizeans speak about when they come home and invest it. I won't say there was any support, but there was no resentment whatsoever. So, so, yeah, yes, yes. it was pretty much a go to loan um, venture. Talk about the sense of consciousness that you have put into this place. As you walk into the Royal Ashanti Palace and you made me your guest, you gave me, you laid out the red carpet for me in terms of the master suite, and I looked at the way this set up. What uh, the, there is a great degree of Afrocentrism that you place into even the architecture, the way the, the, the bed is spread, the, the, the way how the walls are designed, the ceilings, the floor. What is it that you placed in there from that Afro-centered standpoint, the African-centered standpoint? The Royal Ashanti Palace is African-themed, and it is African-named also. You know, the Ashanti tribe being one of the most powerful tribes um, from Ghana in West Africa, one of the regions from which we were brought here. So it actually was named in honor of our African ancestors. And so, um, you, you know, that consciousness went into the um, naming of this accommodation as well as into the um, themes that are in all the rooms. Yes, yeah, very much so. And it's so much you can see that. You can okay. see very much uh, that perspective of it that you have placed that very much inside the, 
the, the your 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 place here. Any final words that you would like to leave with us in terms of the inspiration that made you again made an investment like this in this kind of way? Uh, it's a bread and breakfast. Um, uh, just bed, no breakfast. No breakfast, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very much. I'm Not glad that you anyway. clear that up. And uh, what final words would you like to leave with our viewers, uh, Brother Mustafa? You know, I would like to encourage um, all of our people who are in the diaspora. If you do get the opportunity, just come on back home and try to do something. We have to leave Belize better than in the way in which we found it. And that um, burden is on us. The responsibility is ours. So, you know, if you get a chance, just come on back home and do something to better off the joy. Very much so. And what a better advice to Belizeans in the diaspora who's watching this that this brother has done it. Uh, like many others like him has done it. And he's here and he has never turned back since. He's staying the course. And we hope that more Belizeans will be able to do this. Brother Mustafa, I want to thank you very much for being on Belizean Legends, my brother. And it was an honor to be in your company and in sharing you sharing this hospitable place here with me in this very short little visit. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I am Bilal Morris and you are watching Belizean Legends.